in today's tutorial, we are going to find out the equation of the straight line going through the point 0, 2 and 3, minus 1. First of all, step 1. I am recording. Step 1, the first thing you want to do is work out the gradient. Now the gradient is the distance or the difference of the y coordinates and also the difference of the x coordinates. So you want to label the coordinates up at the top as x1, y1 and x2, y2. It does not matter which way around you put those, you could label this x2 and y2 and this one here x1 and y1. It does not matter. We put those numbers into this formula. y2 is minus 1 y1 is, you're taking away 2 there, x2 is 3, and then we're taking away the 0, <coughs> which gives us minus 3 over 3, and that can simplify just to minus 1. Are you, are you choking? <laughs> okay. That's the first thing we've got. We've got the gradient. We know that the gradient of this line going through those two points is minus 1, which means as well, which is quite interesting, is that the, grade, the slope of the gradient will be going in that direction of that pen. Remember, minus is going that direction, positives will be going in this direction. Step 2. We want to work out the y-intercept. Now, in this case, the y-intercept is dead easy because this point here lies on the y-axis. And we know that because the x-coordinate is 0. If that was not 0, it would not lie on the y-axis. So we know that the y-intercept is going to be 2. Step 3. The equation of the straight line is always y equals mx plus c. So we know the gradient, which is m and we also know what the y-intercept is. We can therefore write down the gradient is minus 1x plus the value of c, which is 2. And just to tidy up, you don't need minus 1x. You can just write minus x plus 2. Right, questions, yes. How do I know c equals 2? Right, the reason, that, remember, c is the y-intercept. Okay, and the y-intercept occurs on the y-axis, where the line touches the y-axis. Josh. Sorry. And this point is on the y-axis. So if I if I plot those two points on a set of on a set of axes like this, you've got your origin there, x and y. And if we wanted to put the point 0, 2, we go along 0, and then we go up 2. So let's just say roughly there. And the other point, 3 minus 1, means you go along 3 and down minus 1, which is roughly there. So your equation of your line, or sorry, your straight line looks like that. And it, you can see there it's touching at 2. It touches the y-axis at 2. So that's why we know C is 2. But you don't need to draw that out, because hopefully, just from looking at those points, you can see that that there, C, is going to be 2. Yes? See with the that thing? With the, my graph, yes? Yeah, your graph. Is it always across first? When you, put you always go along, and then up or down. Okay. okay. Or, or you go backwards, yeah. and then up or down. Any other questions?